Hey everybody, The Amazing here, bringing you another review. This time is of the movie series Revo Iron Man Mark 45. Based on the Age of Ultron armor, the second armor in the movie. Let's get started. First off, I want to start by saying it's a nice red. And if you can't really see, if I turn it out, you see it's a nice bright red. Let's cut the lights back on. It is a different color red from the SHF style. It is a more brighter, more vibrant. But there's a lot less yellow and less gold. It is duller at the same time. So in terms of actual look, compared to the SHF Mark 45, it is a brighter red, but less gold. It's more of a tannish color that is what I'm looking at right now. But overall, it still looks very nice, even compared with the Mark 46, which I'll bring over right now. So in terms of almonds, it actually looks okay. The only issue is that it actually is a bit taller than the SHF. It fits more in scale with Legends for more like what people ask for. And immediately the reason why I'm going into height comparison is because that's literally the first thing I was asked on my Instagram. It wasn't one of those things where it was, oh, well, what is it? It's... So here's how it fit with Legends. Here's how it fits with SHF. Although different, very similar, and it works in comparison. So let's get these guys out of the way. First off, oh, before I even forget, this is what it's like next to Ultron. So Ultron is sort of taller, but not too much taller, as you clearly can see. Let's get them all out of the way. Let's get started on articulation. So if you know Revolve Tech, you know clearly that articulation is a very good thing that they do. The only issue being is that you lose the aesthetic of looking sleek. So the ball joints are highly visible, even when it comes to the arms. Stuff like that is all highly visible. So shoulder pad doesn't come up. It's all part of the arm. It's well, we can't even call it double jointed because Revo joints extend as far as you want them to. Ab crunch is crazy serious. It goes all the way forward. And if you're having trouble with even going forward, the really cool thing about this Iron Man is that the chest flaps out and up. So you can get even more articulation out of the figure. It can actually come all the way forward. Now, the only problem with that is, and you might want to be aware, is that it leaves a chest gap right in the middle. I'm going to bring it forward a little. If you're not too careful, you will leave a chest gap. So you have to know when to bend it forward a little. And it has hip joints for the armor. So they come up. So that way you can get the maximum amount of articulation out of the legs. It's double jointed. There's ankle pivot. There's toe pivot. It's all very nice. Even the little rotating joint here, just like SHF that Revo took from. So you can rotate it in and out. Really cool stuff. I know people don't like the joint snapping, but I like the sound of that. It lets me know that I am rotating to my degree. The faceplate doesn't come off. As far as neck rotation, it goes all the way back, and it has some back articulation. Some of it is hindered by the back of the armor because there's no flaps like with the previous armors, so it doesn't come out that way. So you may lose a little bit of back articulation there, but it's Revo, so it makes up for it in many other cases. So the legs are double jointed, the arms are double jointed, there's nice armor. As far as accessories go, it comes with some really nice stuff. So it actually comes with newer effects. These are actually brand new, not introduced with any other Iron Man. They kind of did it with the foot smoking one for the Mark III, but it's not necessarily the same thing. And it's part of the repulsive blast. So you can get the smoking effect like it's, it's sort of doing it really cool like out of the movie. And they pop in the hand pretty well. So just like that. So this Iron Man comes with blasting hands, just like every other Revo Iron Man. It also comes with blasted, it actually comes with four of these effects. So you can add it to the feet. So you get repulses for the feet, you get thrust for the feet, you get it for the hand. Now, the, the defining moment on this figure that actually made me say, all right, I'm gonna get this, was well, the simple fact that it comes with the Unibeam effect. And I wasn't gonna get it, but I saw that it had the Unibeam effect and I was sold. How cool is it? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip the ball joint up on the chest, push it down, grab something that can get the chest piece out. I'm gonna try to use my fingers and it worked out. So as you clearly can see, there is now a hole in his chest. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you the chest piece for the Unibeam Blast. You combine it with the larger piece, you rotate it in, and then you, then you're gonna get another rotating ball joint piece. Right, well, not a rotating ball joint. Another rotating piece right here. You're gonna slide it in till the joints match. 
just like this. It should look like this. Fold the chest back down and slide in accordingly and voila, you have the repulsor for the Unibee. And I really was sold on this effect. Thought it was really nice. The figure itself is actually very nice as well, but it came with something that the others didn't, which gave me incentive to get the figure. The simple fact that it has the Unibeam, uh, an Iron Man staple for years, especially from Marvel vs. Capcom and Marvel superheroes way back in the day. So you can do Unibeam. Overall, you lose a lot of aesthetic on the figure, but you get the best amount of posability, and the color is a little off. So for those that are customizers and love the paint, you can honestly fix those easily. He comes with flight hands for repulsors, so you can get the thrusters here. Also, if you want to do a salute hand, I don't know why I dropped it. Like I showed you before, the thruster hands, aka repulsor hands. For some apparent reason, this one kind of comes with pointing slash trigger fingers. I thought that was a little weird that they would include this, but knowing my friend Raspberry Chainsaw, he'll put a gun in his hand and that'll be that. But overall, very happy with the figure. You lose the aesthetic, but you get all the articulation and then some. Overall, it's a very nice figure. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. The reason being that it's still not perfect. You lose a lot of your older features that you have with the Iron Man, but you gain some new ones. So it's a win-lose situation. You, you gain some, you lose some. Overall, it's still a solid eight. The aesthetic thing is a little too much for me to uh, lose out on, especially where SHF looks almost exactly like the movie, both the Civil War and the Age of Ultron one. So there you have it. Go out, figure it out for yourself which one you want. If you want it for the Unibeam, totally go out and get it. If not, it's an easy pass for you. Go ahead and give it a shot. As always, thank you. Like, uh, like subscribe, and comment. Thanks so much, guys. I do appreciate it. Have a good one.